Okay, it's getting darker. There's still some ambient light from the sky. I can see a few stars in the sky, but it's very dark on the ground. I really can't see that there's anything out there. Uh, can't see the coyote. So I'm going to try an illuminator. The model LLTL001. It operates at 850 nanometer. So let's see what that does. As you can tell, that's a lot brighter. The illuminator can be focused. Um, I can dial it. I can fade it out a little. Or I can put a little more concentrated light to make it a little brighter. Um, it illuminates the ground uh, quite a bit. But this would be a good shot right there. I can tell that this is a dog-like animal and looking at it. Uh, I can't specifically say that I, that I would know that that's a coyote. Uh, it's large enough to not be a fox, but I can't tell if it's a dog or a coyote. I can see it well enough, but it's just not bright enough, in my opinion, to take the shot. Now here's what my homemade night vision unit sees at 127 yards. This is a life-size coyote mount that my son did for me a few years ago. It was a 33-pound male. And I have this homemade unit uh, looking through my daytime scope. The scope setting is at 6 power. I'm using the LLTL001 illuminator and this view is pretty darn good. That's easy to tell that that is a coyote. It'd be an easy kill at 125 yards. Now I'm going to do a test at the 60 yard site with the LLTL001. That's considerably brighter. Um, it would be an easy shot with that. Have my trail camera out there. and um, This is a view with the homemade night vision at 60 yards. That's a sensor I have. Uh, positioned at a bait site that I use for coyotes. Look how clear this is. The focus on this little EJ230 bullet camera is great. It's very clear. My daytime scope setting is on 6 power. I'm using the LLTL001 illuminator. It's not overly bright. It's not too bright. It's not too dim. It's evenly distributed light. It's not as grainy. I must say that I am disappointed in the photon. This little bullet camera costs slightly over $100. The whole unit to put together to mount it behind a daytime scope is somewhere around $200. does not include an illuminator. This uh, homemade unit is a little more cumbersome. Um, it's a little more bulky and you have to have a 12-volt battery source. You have a cable or a wire running from the uh, bullet camera uh, to the battery. And you have those inconveniences. But at a bait site for coyotes or a bait site for hogs, I can't think of a better uh, and cheaper outfit to use to see well and I have proven this over and over. Um, I've taken three coyotes with this outfit. Um, it's a pretty neat little deal and as I say I'm, I'm disappointed in the photon. I was expecting it to be at least this good or better. I think that uh, Sightmark needs to take a look at this 
and understand that they need to do something with their sensors um, or whatever uh, the internal components of their scope to make it see brighter, clearer, cleaner than it does. And let's see if we can find the coyote. There he is. Very easy to tell that's a coyote. 